Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to write text or any figure around a circular or body in Fusion 360. So as you guys can see here, I have created a, a ring type structure that has three particular dial for one for month, one for date and one for day. So they can be revolved around, around the ring. As you can see, I have assembled these through in a form of a ring. So the basic idea of this video is to teach you guys the trick of how to uh, write these uh, uh, letters uh, around a circular object in Fusion 360. So let's get started. Switch to new workspace. So the first point that needs to be kept in mind that we are going to use the sheet metal workspace for this technique. So for now, click on the sheet metal workspace. Then click on create a sketch and draw a circle let it be of any dimension then we have to make a, a slight cut so that uh, we, we can we could open the uh, as you can see the circle is now for now the circle is closed we need to open a circle with a very uh, low clearance suppose that 0.001 mm so for that draw two line one like that i'm sorry Control c press l for line draw a line from origin to this point that's okay draw another line like this press d for dimension and give the angle between these two lines as 0 0.1 degrees so as you can see there's a very little space now between them now press T for trim and trim this area like this. Now we have an open circle here. The circle is not closed. We have an open circle here. Click on stop sketch. Now we need to create a flange, a sheet metal flange. Go to flange command, select this sketch. Now it will ask you about uh, to extrude the distance. You can like that. You can change the distance, suppose that let's make it 50 degrees, uh, 50 mm, then the thickness one sided, two sided or symmetric, uh, direction one sided and operation as usual new body or new component. The new thing is the sheet metal rules. So as you can see you cannot define the thickness of the flange in sheet metal, for that you need to create so you need to use the predefined sheet metals in Fusion 360 or you can create your own. So for that I want the thickness of this flange to be 5 mm uh, or let's suppose that I want uh, the thickness of this flange to be 10 mm. So for that to cancel this command for right now go to modify go to sheet metal rules. Once, okay, uh, once there you can see uh, the library which, uh, which uh, has been given by the Fusion by pre default so click on let's see aluminium 2 aluminium 1 this was created by me so here you can uh, rename this as my flange and you can alter the thickness remember this is dimension is in mm suppose that if I want the thickness to be 10 mm the k factor and the millimeter gap the bed condition you can change the bed condition and the corner condition suppose that the radius the depth if you use to work on sheet metal workspace so for now just save so we have changed we have created a new sheet metal rule by the name of my flange with the default thickness of 10 mm now if i just click click on flange click on this and choose my flange uh, the distance would be this time let's say 50 yeah 50 is okay uh, operation new component and press ok so we have created a sheet metal body it seems to be sheet metal body but it will work as a body as a normal component body in fusion 360 you can use it to assemble any part in fusion 360 so now the next step is to unfold it remember go to the modify and we have to unfold it to create a flat pattern so that we can write text and then revert it back to the circular form so for that as you can see if I click on unfold command it will ask you about the stationary entity remember to unfold a sheet metal body it is necessary that the stationary entity it needs to be a flat surface 
so there is no flat surface in this particular segment so we have to create one for that again switch on to model workspace click on extrude command now zoom into the cut we have earlier created select this profile and extrude it like suppose that 0.1 it's negligible we are doing this just for a purpose click on join and press ok now we have extruded this particular surface from here to here and as you can see this is the circular profile but this is not the circular profile this is the flat surface that we have needed to create an unfold body now again go to modify uh, go to model go to sheet metal workspace go to modify go to unfold now choose this straight face you have just created let me just zoom out show you the zoom out view so zoom zoom in and select this face then it will ask you about the bands select on the green area and press ok as you have to see that uh, there is an option for refold phrases you can refold it by clicking but if you want to work on the unfold view you can work here now go to sketch create a sketch on this surface uh, let's go to suppose that uh, we need to write some text here so let's write fusion 360 by Autodex rotate this you can rotate the uh, drawing as well or the view you are working at uh, change the height accordingly uh, let's suppose that 30 30 is fine you can adjust the text height and the text to the boldness the uh, font anything else you can adjust according to your design you can make is it not necessary to just make a text here you can also make uh, uh, various patterns and shape for now press ok uh, click on stop sketch then we need to create a extrude cut so that it gets an impression on this go to create click on extrude click on the sketch you have just uh, created the dimension would be 0.5 minus as you have seen oh I've got a spelling mistake there oh just uh, ignore it for now and as you have seen that we have created the few we have written the fusion 360 by Autodex now it's time to sh to uh, refold the faces click on refold wait for the system to process and ta -da! we have just created a fusion 360 uh, we have written the fusion 360 on this flat body now if you want to create uh, close this body you can again go to model yeah you can just click on press pull click on this face extrude it and press ok so we have closed this body now it's a completely a closed body uh, with Autodex Fusion 360 written in a circular form so you can there are numerous ways to use these tricks to create different things just like this I did and created this uh, ring uh, that represents the day the day and the, and the uh, uh, the month so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment if you want a full video on how to create this particular ring in fusion 360 don't forget to support me through paypal and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day